This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion G4-2949SE laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP Pavilion G4-2149SE laptop computer. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to talk about the model number a little bit. Um, there's the G4 has several flavors. So for the G4 with the uh, number starting with a one after the dash, say the HP G4-1000, something like that, the procedure is slightly different. And I have another video on my website or on the YouTube channel which shows this procedure. It's not that much different, but slightly different. This particular video is for the G4 where the first number after the dash is 2, so the G4-2000 series. And in a little while I'll show you what the main difference between the two is. Okay, uh, before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make it safe to work on and that means removing the battery. So we flip the laptop over, we slide the lever to the right, battery pops out, we lift up the battery and remove the battery. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number. Sometimes it's not so easy because there's so many numbers after the under the battery. So if you look at the bottom and it comes into focus, it says model G4-2149 SE. All right, the other place to find the model number for this laptop is on the palm rest. And on the lower left-hand corner, it says Pavilion G4-2149 SE. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for this and for almost all of the laptop computers, you need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic cover around the screen in order to get to the screen assembly. And in order to remove the screen bezel for this particular laptop, you have to remove two screws at the bottom. And that's where the main difference is. For the little bit older model of the G4, the screws are easily accessible. They're up above the bottom assembly. For this one, they're slightly below the bottom assembly, so it's, there's a trick to get to these screws, which I'll show you. Okay, before we get to that part, I will show you the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 screwdriver. We'll use that most of the time. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver. I will use that for smaller screws. And we have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, which I will use momentarily to get to the angled screws. We have a X-Acto knife with a point and blade to remove the plastic screw cover, so the rubber screw covers, and a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing is we use our X-Acto knife to remove the plastic screw cover, and what we like to do is put it right next to the screw opening so that I don't lose it. Same thing on the other side. Remove the screw cover. Okay, and this is where the trick comes in. For some reason, a flathead screwdriver grips a Phillips screw better when it's at an angle. If you try to do it with a Phillips screwdriver, the grip won't be as good and you might grip the screws. So what you do is put the flathead screwdriver in and apply some pressure so you get a good grip and just start turning it and the screw will come out fairly easily that way. It would be a little bit harder if you used a Phillips screwdriver. So same thing on the other side and the screw is out and this is the main difference between the uh, different G4 models. The rest is pretty similar. Okay, so the next step is to remove the screen bezel. For this part, we put our fingertips on the screen side 
and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. Okay, we move along around the screen bezel and keep going. If you get stuck at a place, keep going to a different place and come back to the place you're stuck at. Okay, keep moving around and the bottom is a little bit harder so you might have to apply a little bit more force but it comes out like so and we kind of wiggle it and it comes out. Okay, the rest is pretty easy. So the hardest part is getting those two screws at an angle and removing the screen bezel. So take your time on those parts. Okay, the screen assembly itself, it's mounted on the side by some screws to two metal mounting brackets and we have to get to those screws. So there's a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. So in order to make this a little bit easier, what we're going to do is remove the two screws at the top first and that's so we can tilt the screen assembly up away from the back of the screen assembly itself. So we remove one and two. And for each set of screws, what I like to do is put them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And this helps me keep track of which screws go where. Okay, once we remove the top screws, we can see that the screen can tilt away a little bit from the screen assembly and that will give us better access to the side screws. So we'll start at the bottom. This is probably the hardest one. And we unscrew it. And we use our tweezers to remove it because it's stuck behind some cables. Keep moving along. It comes out. And the same thing for the top screw. And when you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so the screen doesn't fall forward on you. Okay, same thing on the other side. And for some odd reason, the screws are a different color on one side than from the other side. So someone in China must have run out of some screws and used a different bin, but we don't care. So, second screw. And now the screen is free from the screen assembly and we gently start tilting the screen forward like so and lay it down. For this type of LED screen, there's only one connector on the back and we have to remove that connector and it's secured by adhesive tape. So we use our fingernails to lift up this adhesive tape like so. And usually on the back of the video cable connector, there's adhesive that's attached to the screen. So we gently lift that up. Once we do that, we simply pull the connector backwards and out. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. The reason being is people sometimes have difficulty with this. Okay, so when you slide the connector back in, you'll feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel them. And let's get a close-up look of what the connection is supposed to look like. Okay, this is a good connection. Uh, pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, so let's keep moving. We disconnect the connector once again and we take a look at this screen. This is a standard 14 inch LED screen and it's pretty common so you should not have trouble finding it. And the model number that you're looking for for this screen is B140XW01. B140 XW01. That's the model that you type into the search. Now we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available and what you do 
to buy it from us is go www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with the model number and the email address. You give us that information and we'll send you a link back with the link to buy the screen online. And what you get with us is you get the screen. The screen comes with a two-year warranty. You also get this exact same toolkit that I use in this video for free with the screen. Also, we offer free email technical support, so if you get stuck at a place, send us email and we'll help you along. And finally, we ship from warehouses both on the East Coast and the West Coast, so the, your screen will get there in three days or less, or two days or less, for most addresses when you use ground shipping. And if you live outside of the United States, we ship to most countries around the world and just follow the standard checkout procedure. Okay, once you do get your new screen in, reconnect it, as I showed you, put the, mount the screen back up, put the screws in on each side, and if you have trouble with this screw, try using the tweezers to put it in and maybe the smaller size screwdriver to put it in. It shouldn't be a problem. Once these screws are in, put the top screws in, snap on the screen bezel, and for the bottom screws, you can use a, a regular Phillips screwdriver to get the screw started and the flathead screwdriver to tighten it as I showed you. And that should be it. Uh, this one's pretty easy to work on, so you should not have any problem. Okay, once again, thank you very much and good luck. My name is Eugene Panrukovich. And the website is www.screensurgeons.com.